Hi, lifestyle lovers. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica. My channel is called It's E Lifestyle. It is a lifestyle channel, so feel free to subscribe. In this video, it is going to be a decorate with me as well as a clean with me. If you're not new to my channel, then you know a few videos back, I talked about my vertical blinds and how I dislike them very much, how they take away all of the light in my kitchen area and today is the day that I am taking them down. I just recently bought some curtain panels that I also shared with you guys a few videos back. So those are gonna go up today and I ordered a rug to go up under my kitchen table. So I am going to be start with the prepping, which I'm doing now. I'm going to move on to the cleaning and then the fun stuff, the decorating. So if you're interested in some decorating inspiration and some cleaning motivation, then keep watching. Okay, lifestyle lovers, first I want to start off by apologizing for the lighting in the video. It does get better throughout the video, but that's basically one of the main reasons that I am removing the vertical blinds. The natural light on both sides of my home is actually really, really great. So I want to make sure that I'm not missing any of that natural light. So basically my plan is to keep this window exposed 85% of the time during the day and the other 15% will be at night. So for privacy reasons, of course, I would obstruct the window at night using the um, blackout curtain panels that will hang on each side of the window. But pretty much during the day, I'm not sure if it's because of the glare or the sun, you cannot see inside my home. But at night, if there are lights on, you can see directly inside so I've pretty much removed the blinds but I'm going to go in with a flat head screwdriver to remove any hardware that was embedded in the drywall to hold the vertical blinds in place <music> Okay, lifestyle lovers, vertical blinds are removed. There they go. And this is pretty much what I discovered once I removed the vertical blinds. So there is going to need some, I guess that would be dry wall, dry wall repair is going to be needed. Um, I still have to patch some holes up on the wall and then sand those down and repaint it. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that, but um, let me give you guys a full view of how, of how it looks. 
So I'll have to hire someone to do the drywall repair because that's something that, I, that I'm not planning to attempt myself. So here is basically the full view without the vertical blinds and I'm loving it already. It looks really, really good. It just opens up the entire room. So, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and patch the wall up and clean up this mess. But yeah. Okay, lifestyle lovers, I'm just going to go in with some patch and paint in order to repair the walls as well as a plastic putty knife. There were some curtain panels that were hung previously. There they were hung lower than the ones that you're going to see in the video. So basically, I am going to patch those holes up where those previous curtain panels were hung. <laughs> it has dried then I will go in with a sander and just sand the wall down where I've patched the holes that way it'll be real nice and smooth when I go over it with some touch-up paint Once I have repatched the holes and sand the wall down, I'll go in with some touch up paint and just touch up those areas. When I do my decorate with me, lifestyle lovers, I have pretty much like a process and this is basically the prepping process, which is the process that I hate. It is the most tedious process. Sometimes I can do it real quickly. Sometimes it may take me a few days so if you actually notice that I am in different clothes it is because it is a different day it actually took me a few days in order to do the prep work for this um, decorate with me and it also allowed time for the rug to arrive but my process for the decorate with me is prepping which is what I'm doing now and then I'll move on to the cleaning part and then my very very favorite part of the process is decorating okay lifestyle lovers now I am going to move on to the portion of the decorate with me in which I am cleaning the space one of the reasons that I incorporate cleaning into my decorate with me is because I can't see the completion if the space is a mess and also that is the time where I may want to take pictures for Instagram or Facebook or you know just to have on hand and I try to make sure most of the time that I have a before and after picture or a before and after video so you can actually see the difference um, in the transformation so yeah, I'm just going to move on to basically um, cleaning the kitchen. That way, once I am done decorating, I am done, done.
Okay, lifestyle lovers, today is the day the rug for my kitchen has arrived. So I am moving on to the decorating part of the video, which is basically adding a rug under my kitchen table and adding some curtain panels over my sliding glass window. But it made such a huge impact, just those little changes. If you are interested in the details on the rug, they will be in the description box. Okay, lifestyle lovers, I'm going to go ahead and hang the curtain panels over the sliding glass window. Uh, the rug did arrive in the latter part of the day, so it is about 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening. And I am really, really tired, so you will see the completed look in the morning. I do not have any more energy to give to this project today. I wanted you guys to get a really, really good look at the rug, especially with the table on top of it. It is so gorgeous. I am so loving it. Okay, lifestyle lovers, it is the next morning. So this is pretty much a completed look of the space. The curtain panels are closed. I have not opened them yet, but I am going to open them so you can see it all come together. The rug is gorgeous and I measured it exactly where all of the chairs would be able to go on the rug. I can't remember the size of it, but as I stated, I will link it in the description box below. But I am loving it. I just feel like the space is completely complete now. This is how the space looked with the vertical blinds. And this is how the space looks once I remove them. What a difference. Here is a view of the space without a rug. And here is a view of the space after. Small changes, big impact. That's pretty much it for this video, Lifestyle Lovers. I hope you enjoyed it. I still have some work to be done. As I stated, there is going to be some drywall repair that needs to be done. As well as my trash can in the corner. I hate it there. So I am looking for ways to improve that. But I'm loving these beautiful panels from Z Gallery. They will be listed in the description box below. All of the new items I have added to the space and I am loving the rug as well. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one, Lifestyle Lovers.